Hello, I'm Anderson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for touchhero.com and today you're going to be talking about an app called Sketch Pro. Actually, Sketchbook Pro. Um, this is one of the best apps that I have ever seen and I have ever used. I love drawing on the iPads. My daughter loves drawing and this is by far the most flexible, the most powerful drawing application on the iPads. And my intention today here is just to give a brief intro on on Sketch Sketchbook Pro. Actually, there is a there is a free version and this is the Pro version. Not sure how much it costs, but it's very very well worth. But give that shot on the on the free version first. In any case. I will be doing a, a few tutorials on the Sketchbook Pro, going through its features, exploring and going as as uh, in as much depth as possible. I'm not an artist. I'm not. I don't know how to draw that much actually at all. But I like the tool. I like playing around with that tool. If you have some artistic traits, I mean, you're gonna be you're gonna be able to do some amazing stuff with that app. But let's start talk a little bit and let's go for it. Sketchbook Pro. Um, the first thing that I want to show is the nice mirroring, mirroring capabilities that uh, feature that Sketchbook Pro has. Well, let me just give an example here. I'm just drawing some lines here. There's no mirror activated, but I'm just going to ask for this to be cleaned. And I'm going to activate the mirroring feature of Sketchbook Pro, which is this little icon here at the top that now shows the mirror. Now it does. Now it shows. Now, whatever I do on one side of the screen will be uh, duplicated on the other side in the opposite side. So whatever I do here, I go to the center. It's doing the same thing on the other side. Now, you can use that to do, let's say, a butterfly. You can just do, let's say this would be the head, this would be the body, and those would be the wings. Now, here's what you, you may have noticed. If I draw, if I start drawing a line from the right side and across to the left side, it goes together, it keeps going, and it doesn't stop dead in the center. Now, there's an option here in, in Sketchbook uh, that will allow you to avoid crossing the, the center, crossing the middle of the drawing. You just need to go to the settings, which you can access via this little eye. And then from here, you go to preferences. And then there is, there is one setting that says symmetry stop center, which you're going to be turning on. Now let's go back there. Now what will happen is that if I try to do that again, See, my finger uh, went crossing the middle, let's say the middle, the, the center of the screen, but the drawing stopped right there. See, I can just go and it just stops. I can, see, I can keep pressing, but it's it just stopped. So if I cross, it will stop. Now, if I switch it back, it will keep going. Now, I can just hit the corner, the lower left corner to undo my latest actions. Actually, it's a double click. It's a double um, press there. You just have to hit twice and it will undo anything that I have done. But uh, yeah, so here's how you can use the symmetry. Now you can you can do some some interesting stuff. My my daughter just loves this one. Uh, th this feature of whatever you do from one side will be reprinted on the other side. So that's it for now. This is just a quick and simple uh, explanation of the symmetry feature on Sketchbook for the iPad. Now, I'll be bringing a lot more videos on Sketchbook specifically. Thank you very much and bye for now.